What's up everybody, this is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you get the information you need right up front, and if you want more, stick around for a step-by-step -step walkthrough. Today we're going to show you just how easy it is to use Edit and Grid View like a pro in SharePoint and Microsoft List. Stick around! I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra, careful with my hands cause I gotta use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd, I like maple syrup, all my pancakes, I don't care what you heard. Okay, so let's get that timer rolling. But before we get started, please like, share, subscribe, and let us know in the comments what you think of the video. You know, on a scale of 1 to 10, it is it a 1, is it a minus 45, a 10, a 200? And yeah, also let us know what you want to see in the future. Okay, so now let's get the timer rolling. <sighs> All right. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on Edit and Grid View. Boom. Can't be in a grouped view. It's got to be in a line item view. All right. So you're in the grid view right now. You can go in there and pop in there and just start putting in stuff. Like just throw in a date, just smack it in there and then boom. And you want another bonus thing? If you want to just bring this date down to other things, just grab that and just go slablam. There you go. You did it. Okay, now we're going to slow down a little bit and we're going to back it up and we're going to talk about what we're doing and how we're able to do this, etc., etc. Earlier I said you cannot be in a group view and that is the case so if we exit oh I forgot to tell you how to actually save but I imagine you probably could have figured out that when you were done hit exit grid view so I guess I didn't really make it in 60 seconds but you get the idea so you do your thing you hit edit in grid view you do your thing and then when you're done you go to like exit and then your changes are done they're there okay but if you at any point decide hey you know uh, I'm going to group my view. So let's say I want to group these according to the company. Sounds like a good grouping. I mean, I could uh, hit this drop down and group by company. Uh, if you got the new look and feel for the list in SharePoint, you can just go ahead and uh, click on the little thingamabob here and select a field. If you hover, it says group by. There you go. And then you can group by company and then Shazammers. There you go. Like you got it. Uh, for whatever reason, it seems to default to having every company expanded, but you can easily fix that just by clicking that little carrot and then bam, there you go. Let's say, oh snap, did they fix it? Holy moly, they may have fixed this. Did they fix this? I'm in a grouped view and I'm going to edit in grid. Let's see what happens. Oh, snap a Take it back. Take it back. I take it back. Uh, there was a time. Please let me know in the comments if you've ever encountered this. I have encountered times when I wanted to work with a group. You know, I'm I'm gonna. But is this gonna work? It's gonna work. Okay. I tell you, there was. So if, for example, if we do something like turn this into a Power App, okay. If we customize the form with a Power App, we should get back to that old look and feel let's just let's just see humor me for just a moment and come on come on this is only because it's the first time that we're doing this with this particular list all right so let's just save and publish we're just going to publish it publish okay now we're going to go back to sharepoint leave this should kick us back no it kept us Okay, fair enough. Uh, now, oh, see, I did a refresh. Okay, see, now we're now we're back. Remember, we got the details pane. See, see, you guys thought I had messed up. Yep. All right. So, for whatever reason, if you uh have a SharePoint list, if you have a list in SharePoint and you decide to customize the form. Well, the power app uh, it is going to take you back to this look and feel you can tell it's different because my views are not tabular they are now a drop down uh, so and at my last recollection when I had this look and feel and I group I grouped by the company or, or grouped by anything I had no longer had the ability to edit in grid view and that is exactly what you're seeing here all right so back to working with the actual grid view uh, and you know the principles reign you know true regardless of look and feel so let's just go back 
stop grouping here. Um, okay, and now we want to refresh. Okay, and we're going to, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the grid view. And some of the ins and outs you got here that are pretty slick. Uh, first off, you can get right to the fields, right? You don't have to open up each item to go in there. You can bounce around the fields however you like. You can change things. Uh, you can also make some, you know, copy some data. Uh, similar to what you might do in Excel, we can just click and drag the corner, and now we've got all of those uh, updated. And I do believe we should have the ability to to drag, you know, multiple rows of, excuse me, copy it to multiple rows. So if we click here and see, I selected both of those, and now hold on. Oh, hold on, that's the last item. We gotta, let's just clear this out. It requires a value. Well, that's great. I'm trying to give it to you. All right, so let's say we go over here. Now we have this, we can drag it down, and then boom, it takes both of those things and copies them. All right, and one more thing so you can be using the edit and grid view like a pro is the undo option. So yeah, let's say you made a, you know, Kitty Wampus change, and you're like, nah, dude, didn't mean to make that change. Just go here, click the undo button, and then uh, you're right there. You just, you just like undid that thing. But in this case, you're gonna want to make sure you put something in there because this is a required field. But you get the idea. If you have a need to get to it quickly, make some mass edits. Uh, you can certainly use the edit in grid view. Hopefully, this helps you. Please let us know what you think in the comments. Remember, do the very best you can with what you got. SharePoint rocks. And so do you. We'll see you next time. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra. Careful with my hands because I got to use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes. I don't care what you heard.